Good evening. Uh, last week we did a couple of tests on the farm firing the Gamo 1250 and I fired pile driver pellets as well as Gamo G Buffalo pellets into a concrete block. Uh, the results were somewhat surprising actually. I had very high hopes for the pile driver pellets but compared to the Gamo they failed miserably. They can only be used in certain instances, such as smaller quarry, uh, such as larger rats, but for larger animals I would actually opt for the Gamo uh, G Buffalo pellets. Uh, even though they are a bit lighter, they seem to have far more penetrating power than the pile driver pellets. I am totally won over by the Gamo. I feel that it is a pellet which is actually designed for the barrel of this particular rifle. Uh, and uh, it seems to hit with far more force and authority. Um, not only that, but the cost of these pellets is far less than the pile drivers. A ton of pile drivers in rand terms would cost about 150 rands. Uh, that would equate uh, to about, uh, I would say, $12 uh, per, 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 per ton. Uh, the Gamo G Buffaloes tend to cost about 60 rands. That equates to about $4 per tin. I think, uh, you know, for real plinking or hunting purposes, the Gamo definitely comes out on top. And I am actually very pleased with the results. We shall now look at a couple of slides uh, where we can see which quarry both these pellets can be used for. In this particular image, I actually loaded two pellets accidentally into the barrel of the Gamma 1250 Hunter. And here you can see these two pellets on their way to the target. In this particular image, there's another pellet on its way to the target. In this image, the pellet hits the target or the concrete the impact seems to radiate at about 60 degrees to 90 degrees out, outwards uh, laterally. This indicates that the pellet actually deforms on impact as you may see over here. Over here you can see a clearer view of the impact which this pellet actually has on the concrete block. Uh, another picture of where it actually radiates outward the blast wave. As I said before, the pile driver seemed to flatten completely on impact, which means that because it is made out of lead, therefore being a softer compound, it tends to just flatten against the concrete. This is obviously not a pellet to be used penetratively. The next image shows a similar shock wave radiating outwards, say 60 degrees to 90 degrees from the point of impact. Again, this is what I've noticed with the pile driver. In this image, a similar shock wave is produced. They all seem to, to hit the concrete and radiate outwards as in the form of the blast wave over here. The Gamma G Buffalo seems to burrow into the target. As you can see, the blast wave seems to, it kicks up quite a bit of powder from the impact and it seems to actually radiate backwards. Uh, this is typical of a pellet with a harder composition even though it weighs 5.6 grains lighter than the pile driver it seems to have better penetrative ability it really went in about I would say one centimeter completely into this hard country concrete there is another example of the Gamo G Buffalo penetrating into the concrete and you can see by the looks of the blast wave it radiates outwards and backwards um, I would say roughly say between 60 degrees and uh, about 180 degrees 
here's another shot even though it hit in the paper you can see the blast wave extending backwards here is another example of the blast radius of the gamma gamma g uh, buffalo pallet as you can see again once again it tends to burrow completely into the concrete and uh, it basically has a huge huge penetration ability compared to the pile driver it is actually far superior to the pile driver in penetrating its target one can therefore see if you were going to fire into the chest area of an Egyptian goose which is quite a large bird uh, I suppose with the Gamma 125 I wouldn't take a headshot however I would use the Gamma G Buffalo to fire into the chest area uh, making sure that I hit the heart or any other vital organ thereby dropping this bird completely I don't think I would want to take that chance with the pile driver actually unless I know exactly where the heart is situated but you're gonna have to get past that breast bone here's another example of a very large rat and I would shoot him with the pile driver pellet here's another example of a very large rat and that I would also shoot with a pile driver Here's another picture of a very large rat. The pallet of choice would be the pile driver into the head or into the heart lung area.